Man, oh man, I'm I having difficulty getting through this introduction. I, I, I can't get through it with a straight face, and I, I'm, I'm kind of torn because I don't want to be a dick. All right, so here we go, take 50. Fish the cannot fish see cannot Once see you it coming. Fish, our line will take it's, care ultra of it. it's ultra strong, it's super and it's ultra smooth. smooth, it's, it's what, what you, you can, can depend, depend on, on to catch, catch your, your next, next big, big game, game fish. fish. The reviews that I see on it, I, I, they're like, oh, it's, it's super smooth. Have you, have you used fishing line before, bro? Like anybody who's saying this line is smooth, have you ever used? What is going on, guys? I thank you all for joining me. And this is sort of an after the fact pre-introduction of sorts. And um, I just want to share with you guys that what you just saw, I had no idea existed until after I fished the line for five trips and put about 30 hours of time on it and took it off my reels and did all the filming. I had no idea that when I was critical of them on Instagram in their Instagram ads comment section where I asked them bluntly, did you guys have the script for this before you even got the sample? They did. So in addition to that, I want to share with you guys something that really only shows up when you're dealing with these stealth camo styled in color braids where you have a non-pigmented section of line coming up against a pigmented section of line or an uncoated section of line coming up to a section, uh, a, a, a coated section of line. And uh, if you look here, I just have folded over two lengths of line. One's the spider wire stealth camo, the other one's beyond braid or Hercules four strand stealth camo, which is pretty funny. I just wanted to see if I can keep these separated. Just give me a second, like so. So we have up top the stealth, uh, stealth camo from Spiderwire. The bottom is Beyond Braid. And I'm going to go ahead and just slide my hand down and just let it go. You can see that the weight itself of just seven inches of, of line is enough to curl these at the end. They're not going to stand out like a tape measure. You know what I mean? And you can see the spider wire. The black pigment versus the white pigment is virtually the same. Again, it's off the table, right? It's being supported by its own weight, or it's supporting its own weight. It's not being supported by the table. And then you have the Beyond Braid black section versus the white section. And because of the, the excess heavy, rubbery, stiff coating, it creates sections of line that have different handling characteristics. It's not the end of the world. Over time, as it wears in and the coatings wear off, the handling characteristics will change and kind of become a little bit closer to one another. But in terms of a premium uh, braided fishing line on a bait casting reel, when it's coming off the spinning spool at high speeds, You'll 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 see or feel the the, the sensation that there's something different different handling. I, I I can feel it when I'm fishing it. I didn't realize what it was at the time, and I don't fish a lot of these camo braids or these multi pigmented braids that have the uncoated versus coated. And I just wanted to share that with you guys that if you want a premium handling product, this ain't it. <laughs> if you like nice things, this ain't it. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, let's get this done with. The sooner I finish with this, the sooner I can get this crap off my reel. All right, gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today we're going to be talking about Instagram's newest braided fishing line, so it seems. Uh, this is Beyond Braid. And uh, I don't want to say it's Beyond Garbage. <laughs> But I, I got to ask the dude in the commercial whether or not that script was pieced together before they even got a sample. Because it, ah, man, it, I, I can't speak to the long-term reliability of it, but it ain't super smooth. Fish could see it coming because it's opaque. And uh, yeah, it's not stronger than other lines of the same package ready brake strength and diameter. So, uh, I, I, what, three, three out of four were just uh, missing the mark a little bit? I'm, I'm gonna focus mainly 
on the fact that it's it's not smooth at all whatsoever. It, ah, God, it. They don't even tell you on the packaging if it's a four or an eight strand braid. Nowhere in the marketing, nowhere that I see it on the website. And I get that you don't want to judge a braid based specifically on that, but it's a good starting point to when you're looking for a braid do you want a coarse textured do you want a braid that that has a smooth surface finish four four strands are going to give you that that coarse buzz sawing through vegetation type construction and the eight strands or six strands and up most are going to be smoother you have six strand suffix performance that is fairly smooth in the lighter pound tests under 40 it gets a little abrasive we'll call it it's coarse textured but then you got your Berkley X9s, you have your Power Pros, the J-Braid X4s. Now, J-Braid X4, I, I, I think it's junk. It's a hell of a lot better than this stuff. It really is. And so four strand braids, great for buzz on. That Berkley X5 is quickly becoming my favorite coarse textured braid it shreds grass it has a real tight construction it doesn't loosen up and get ropey whereas this stuff here just look at it you, you could see it on the spool it's like the weave is barely woven <laughs> i feel like i'm at home depot in the in the in the rope department i just gotta get a guy in a an orange smock to to cut me off a spoolie bro spool me up a reel at home depot but ah oh god and it's one of those things where I saw the ad on Instagram and it's a, it's a fish and tackle ad and you, you guys know as well as I do 99% of the shit that you see on Instagram like you read the comments and it's like buy it for 80% less on Wish buy it for 80% on Amazon buy it on Etsy for 97% off and faster shipping and free shipping so you, you know going in when you see an ad for something on Instagram um, Chances are it's not going to be good. Ah, Instagram's batting a thousand. <laughs> Straight up. Like this stuff, it does nothing, nothing better than anything else I've ever used. And I've used a lot of different braids over the last 20 plus years. You know, I remember Fenwick Iron Thread back in like 2000 or 99 in that area, that, that, you know, the turn of the century. That stuff felt better than this. Original Power Pro. Been around since bef when it was used for what, kite string? Better than this stuff. More tightly woven, a coating that is a little bit stiffer, takes a little bit of, you know, more to break it in. But, you know, during that honeymoon phase, it's a little bit more tough than if it were fully broken in. So many lines out there that have been around and stood the test of time that we look as like outdated are better than this line that came out in what 2019 and the 2019 2020 and when these guys were developing this line if if they developed it I mean so much stuff out there today is just hey I can order 10,000 spools at $1.50 a spool and I can slap my label on it for an extra three dollars and packaging and shipping landed in the U.S. plus you know excise and you know schedule and blah 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 it's like oh wow it's, it's like kind of sticky the black the black is kind of sticky when i spooled it up i got like black boogers all over my hands and it was like sticky rubber but the other the other parts of the line aren't but when these guys were developing this line did they look at reaction tackle did they look at spider wire and say we're gonna make a product that's more expensive than the reaction tackle and uh lower quality <laughs> That's our goal. Like, I, I, and we're not going to put it in a box. We're just going to put the spool in some heat shrunk cellophane and slap it in a bubble mailer and, a, and slap an American flag on the spool to make people that are just taking a, a quick glance at it thinking it's made in America, even though it just says U.S. company. I, I, I can't say anything good. Just look at it. It's, and this is 30 pound test. I think it was 0.28. I'm not even... I'll just get you give you some up close footage on it just so you can get an idea but it's it's barely it's barely even woven like it, it's just low quality 
if you if you like nice things you're not gonna like this stuff at all if you if you don't give a crap and you just want something that's not gonna you know give you backlashes in a spinning reel because of line twists and you just want to not use mono filament because of it um you could probably <laughs> do a lot better for the same price i mean look look at where this stuff is sold ebay amazon and their website i think it was 24 dollars shipped do you know how many lines out there are 24 dollars shipped on those platforms that this is competing with i mean j braid x8 is a spectacular line it's not the best but it's it, it it checks all the boxes for the msrp on amazon i mean what is it like twenty dollars twenty three dollars for 300 yards you can get different colors you can get metered line where the color changes actually mean something versus just some it looks pretty on a real kind of deal and i get it blue white black it, it looks awesome it does but spider wire did it so much better <laughs> they, they really did it it looks like the blues and the blacks and it, it just look better like the transitions look better like this is a solid transition that can't be said for all the transitions it looks like you know on some of them it like it's missing some pigment sometimes like if you look here the black is like leaching and missing spots before it transitions it doesn't even look clean if they're if they're going for the whole camo aspects they just want to like fade it out it still doesn't work <laughs> ah god and and camo braids in general show me evidence please just, just somebody somebody show me that a, a multicolored line is less visible to fish please you have black and white there is no greater contrast street signs for christ's sake use black and white yellow and white hell you can go to park signs that are blue and white look and again look at this look see how it's like checkered it's not even a clean transition oh man now granted i don't think a white and bright blue line is good for freshwater bass fishing whether you give a crap or not about the color of your brand i don't like i, I don't like fishing pure white line when i'm you know fishing no leader that kind of stuff but i do I don't see that big of a deal. You know, am I going to sit there with a Sharpie and color my line? No, I'm going to buy a moss green line. I'm going to buy a you know, black line. You know. But man, that dude's got some stones saying how great this line is. I wonder if he even used it. And then the reviews that I see on it. I, I, they're like, oh, it's, it's super smooth. Have you, have you used fishing line before, bro? Like anybody who is saying this line is smooth. Have you ever used... I, I, I don't know where to go with this. Like, you have sandpaper is rough on one side, and usually the backing is pretty smooth on the opposite side. Have you ever experienced sandpaper? <laughs> I'm not even trying to relate this to fishing. I'm not even trying to relate this to string or rope. I mean, how many lines can you hear on the on a bait caster on the way out? I mean, some of the some of the buzzier power pros and even they don't really buzz that much on the way out in some setups oh my lord oh my lord like when i did that phonetic pro braid review and the company sent me the product which was i think like 75 bucks for 300 yards and i spooled it up and it looked like there was a moth stuck in the braided line because it was a defect or like the spooling and the loom just i guess some of the, the fibers broke and it stretched and yada 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 and they just didn't catch it in quality control that was a qc issue um this is a lot more than that like this is just low quality i i, I can't recall using a lower quality braided fishing line i think it was that uh the crap that I put out, Calyx, that, that, that crap fishing reel, that it's Pure Fishing's company that they just use on the internet and sell on Amazon. It's like their Amazon Direct company. Um, Pure Fishing owns, is a conglomerate, I guess, is that, or marketing firm that owns your Berkeleys, Van Stahls, Pens, Abu Garcia's, insert name here. 
they're they're tied to pure fishing. The Calyx braided line that I got, I think I paid six dollars for a thousand meters. Six dollars for a thousand meters. Feels better than this stuff. It fit. I mean, you can fish this stuff. You, you, I'm not having any trouble fishing it. So you can go out on the water. You can cast and retrieve and catch fish, which I'm seemingly doing a piss poor job at. But for your money, I I would not recommend this to a single person for a single reason at all whatsoever. Because for $15, which is about nine bucks cheaper, you can get the reaction tackle, their blue camo, which is essentially the same as this with a seemingly tighter weave and construction for nine dollars less. And it misses black. That's it. It just doesn't have the black. <laughs> oh god. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> did you did you wake up in the morning? And dreading having to, to to do a review of a product that you just thought was utter garbage. Did you wake up thinking that? Did, did you wake up worrying about the, the comment section of the, the, the friends of this guy trying to tell you that you don't know what the hell you're talking about, even though he's probably been fishing longer than the dude's been alive? But again, I'm not having any problems with distance. I'm not having any problems with accuracy. I'm not having any problems with line managing. It's a bait caster. Braid works on 99.9% .9 of every bait caster. Except for like Gliss and Nano Fill and Fireline Ultra 8, you don't want to use those on, on bait casters because if you have it overrun, it'll 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 pop. It doesn't handle that that abrupt jam in the spool and the heat build up very well. It just separates. But yeah, so Instagram. How about that? Follow me on it. I put up cool stuff and funny stuff. Like my friend almost getting decapitated by a Mako shark. Or my other friend, <laughs> almost getting his nuts bitten off by a hammerhead shark because he decided to hold it like it was a, like a striper. <laughs> and it was a six foot long shark <laughs> that he released safely, by the way. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, Tackle Advisors. And uh, if you need to reach out to me, I'm finding it a little bit easier to reach out and get back to you guys through uh, DMing on Instagram. It's a, it's a platform that I do enjoy. It's a platform that I spend some time on. So it's really easy for me to just go into the DM box and hit you all up. And I get inundated with questions. I get, like, I'm Lord Varus from Game of Thrones. If there's something new coming out, my little birds are out there scouring the internet, scouring everything that they know, and they send me every leak, everything. I can't put all of it out there because friends of mine have agreements or confidentiality agreements with many of the manufacturers and now the manufacturers know that I'm working with these guys and I'm friends with some of these shop owners. So if I put some information out there, sometimes they'll hit them over the head and you know they'd be guilty by association and I don't like, they don't care. They, they know what I'm up to, they know what I do. But I, I just don't want to see them suffer in any way, shape, or form due to something that I put out there that gets 500 likes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to cut this. No, we're not going to cut this short. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because we're going to switch reels. So this is a Daiwa Steez SVTW. On a Steez AGS 8 footer. Same reel, same gear ratio. You know what? We're, we're, you know what? Never mind. I'm, I'm not even going to switch it up. But just look. We'll get, we'll get close up on the bench. Both of them aren't the tightest of weaves. They're not the best braids. But man, this stuff here, the reaction tackle for 15 bucks and 300 yards. Dragonfly just landed on my ear. Uh, is is better all around than, than this stuff. I, I was gonna do a side by side and yada yada yada, but it's 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 obvious. <laughs> <sighs> so until next time, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys had fun. I didn't. Now I can finally take this crap off. I hope it's recyclable because 
I'm just gonna take the spool and the leftover braid. I, I, I'll, I'll, you know what? If my friend's kid needs needs a line on a reel that he's just gonna demolish, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll put it on that for him. That way we can at least try to use it. I wouldn't even want to use this stuff to hang pictures. I got plenty of leftover braid. It's scraps. It's got more value than than this stuff does for for me anyway. So again, this has all been my personal opinion. So I'm sharing that with you guys as I always do. I have nothing against the company. I have nothing against the product, but it's just not a good product. You can see my thumb. Look at that. Looks like I have circulation issues. <laughs> that happens with a lot of stuff. So until next time, guys, tight lines, and I'll see you soon. Deep breath, focus. Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today, I'm going to share with you my initial impressions on two braided fishing lines, Instagram's latest and greatest Beyond Braid Blue Camo Fishing Line, which is showing up in feeds all over the globe, and one of Amazon.com's most popular and best-selling fishing lines, a similarly colored 30-pound test, just like the Braid Reaction Tackles Affordable High Performance Fishing Line. I bought this off of eBay, I bought this off of Amazon, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, being forthcoming, this stuff here, the, the, the video advertisement that I've seen a thousand times now, uh, I, I gotta say, it, 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 it strikes a tone with me. I understand marketing, I understand all the stuff that goes into it, and everybody's gotta make money, I'm not, not, not worried that it's a made in China product, I have thousands of made in China products, and I love a lot of them. Uh, to start off, right out of the gate, this is the packaging. Comes in a bubble mailer. There's no cardboard box. You get a kind of like a vacuum sealed plastic, and that comes off nice and easy. Blah. So, on the packaging or on the spool itself, they have a USA company, which a couple of years ago wouldn't make that much of a difference because pretty much everybody selling something to you in the United States that's available is a company based in the United States. But you go on Instagram, uh, Instagram on Amazon, and it's just loaded with these Chineseium Insta brands that you have no idea who the heck they are. They show up and they're selling products for the same price as you know, major name brands, and they magically have hundreds of positive reviews. And I can tell you from my personal experience, uh, there are hundreds of companies that reach out to influencers like me, and they offer to pay me or reimburse me for me purchasing the product and doing a review. So that's how they get all that kind of crap. It violates all the terms and conditions on Amazon. Uh, yeah, so Reaction Tackle does have a legitimate history on Amazon. I know people that have fished the stuff. It's a bare bones, four strand uh, braided line. It gets the job done. It's not great stuff. It's not smooth. It, the color fades yeah, fairly quickly, but think of it as, as a cheaper Power Pro. Think of it as a, uh, a better example because Power Pro is actually really good stuff. It doesn't get all that ropey. The color fades and all, but for a four strand coarse textured braid, if you're fishing around vegetation, Power Pro is still a very viable line. It's, been, it's probably the best selling fishing line on the planet in terms of PE lines. But it's made in the United States. It's four strand. It's made with a name brand base fiber spectra. Everybody, everybody's heard of you know Honeywell spectra. J Braid's Grand is made out of melted down soda bottles. It's a non-name brand. Their new Grand is made from Izanis, which is a new trade name for uh, Dyneema, yada, yada, yada. This stuff, the four strand compared to Power Pro, gets a little ropey, similar to what you should, you can come to expect from this stuff. Now, Beyond Braid, no idea what it's made out of. It's not made from Spectra. It's not made from anything. And this is my first unwinding from the spool. And uh, yeah, they make a big deal saying how smooth it is. It's super smooth. I, I would love to live in a world where a four strand braided fishing line is smooth. Now, here's some sandpaper. This is some cool 3M stuff, it's 200 grit. That right there, that's not smooth. This is smooth. If you harken back to my Cast King Royal Legend Elite review where the reel was metallic blue, I don't know where they come up with their adjectives to describe the products that they're, that they're marketing. In addition to that, they don't even tell you that it's a four strand braided line. They leave that up to you to buy it and break down the braid. Or if you happen to ask a question, what is this, a eight strand or a four strand? And that's not just marketing. 
that's just what the industry has presented us as a consumer with. H-strand braids are generally a smoother texture. The surface finish, as you run it through your fingers, feels closer to that of like a smooth piece of glass. Whereas four strands, for whatever reason, the winding process, the braiding process, whether it's original Power Pro, Max Quattro, or even Berkeley's X5, they're not smooth. They're just not smooth. I mean, unless they're, they're looking at the surface finish under a microscope, if I can get that to focus, and we're gonna give up on that. <laughs> that finish might be considered smooth, but the weave itself, oh wow, it's, it breaks down easy too. Lots of peaks and valleys. It feels relatively limp for a 30 pound. If we go ahead and grab some Power Pro and 30 pound, both of these lines have not been fished. Yeah, so the coating on Power Pro is what gives it its body. It's also probably wound a little bit tighter. You can see how the, the Beyond Braid just goes limp. It doesn't seem to be a very tightly woven. See, it's, it's not all that easy to, to break apart and loosen up that weave. Whereas with this stuff, I mean, it comes, it opens up fairly easily. So, yeah. But look at it, you can see it's, it's, it's nowhere near smooth. You can see the texture in the weave. Now here's an eight strand camo braid from Spiderwire. And whether you like Spiderwire or not, that's, that's up to you. I mean, this stuff's not bad and it's similarly priced on Amazon. And again, if, you, if you're comparing the markets in which this line is sold versus where this line can be sold, you have eBay, direct off their website and Amazon. You can buy this spider wire stuff and J braid every anywhere. And uh, there's no map protection, meaning you can retail braided fishing line for pretty much anything you want as a authorized dealer for the product. So if you want to sell spider wire or here, power pro, if you want to sell power pro for $6 for a thousand yard spool, you can do that. And they're not going to yell at you. They're going to think you're stupid for killing your profit, but dollars to donuts. You can get this stuff for about three bucks more, four bucks, what, not even sometimes, depending on the time of year. You can see this, it's commonly going for similar to what this is. Now with coronavirus and the, the fishing industry exploding, everybody's taken up fishing. It's like the newest, hottest thing to do. So inventories and supply is low for some of the bigger name stuff, which may be why people are starting to turn to this because it's tougher to find some of the products in, in, your, in your niche. But yeah, I mean, they're touting it as more durable and more abrasion resistant. I'll explain to you briefly why they're making that claim when it comes to four strand braids. So with a four strand braided fishing line, you have high spots and low spots in the weave. When you're running it across something like so, generally speaking, the higher spots in the weave are the only strands impacted. If you come across zebra mussels or any sharp edges, it's gonna shear just the same. So if you come across it like this, it may hold up a little bit longer. It's still gonna fray. But if you come across it from a, the side, like a shearing force, it will likely cut easier than a H strand braid. So yeah, this stuff, what is it? 25 bucks, 24 bucks shipped off of eBay or Amazon. I'll leave you links down below. It's blue, white, and black, and light blue. It's 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 just a color thing. I, I'm literally not seeing anything special. Whether or not the floral polymer coating that they apply to it is anything different than anybody else's coating that they apply. Uh, and there are plenty of, li plenty of braided fishing lines that use that exact same coating. So let's crack this and see if it's any different other than It lacking the the black strand <laughs> these probably are made in the same factory if I'm being honest and the potential exists but there are many so 30 pound 30 pound wow the reaction feels much thicker <laughs> it feels like it could be like a 40 pound the the 30 pound of this stuff definitely does feel a little bit thinner let's do some junk science here and 
Eh, it's about the same diameter as Power Pro, but yeah, Power Pro is much more substantial. I mean, this is like wispy and loose, and this stuff has much more uh, rigidity and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, so the reaction tackle feels, <laughs> does it feel smoother? It kind of does. It's thicker, so a lot of times a thicker, larger diameter fishing line will tend to feel thinner, or feel th smoother. But yeah, it definitely feels smoother than, than this stuff. This stuff's not smooth. I, I don't understand why they marketed it and saying that it's smooth. And I don't understand why they're not telling you it's a four strand versus an eight strand unless you actually ask them. I didn't see it anywhere in the website, anywhere in the literature, all that kind of good jazz. Um, but yeah, so the reaction tackle is essentially the same as this stuff here, minus the black section of line. And it's 2020, black lines matter. I truly mean that. If you look at fins, <laughs> they came out with a black fishing line. <laughs> and, they're, and they're marketing it. I, why, why is the color of braided fishing line marketing? And please tell me, why they have all these dyed and multicolored fishing lines, but they can't do a repeating pattern that's even. Make it a metered line. You know how great it would be if I dropped down three blacks or four whites or three dark blues, and I knew that I went down 30 yards as a result of that? That's what this stuff is for. It's metered jigging, not even jigging, just, just let you know if you're trolling, if, you're fi if you want to know how far you're casting. You're dropping down a, some chunks and stuff like that. You're swinging them in current. You need you know where there's some structure if you're anchored up or fishing on a river and you're swinging out. It gives you a good indication of how far you're going. You're not going to be counting, you know, individual colors generally speaking. You just kind of know that you know went down three blues, two blues. You're not trying to get down to the exact six feet when you're only casting 25 yards. But why can't they do that? Same thing with the spider wire. And comparing the spider wire. Like this stuff is is pretty darn smooth. Even this is this has been fished and reversed and put on different reels. Like this stuff is your your standard smooth H strand braided line. It's 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 leaps and bounds night and day smoother than this stuff here. I don't want to say it's crap, but I mean I uh, it, it just feels so cheap. It feels like that. Uh, here, hold on a second. I almost fell in my chair. Here is a thousand yard spool of Calyx, which is pure fishing and uh, yeah, pure fishing secret brand. It's all the same address. It's their kind of internet only, Amazon only brand. Uh, it, it feels just like this stuff. This was $6 for a thousand yards, <laughs> just to give you an idea. So yeah. So this is my initial impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and spool this stuff on this Dio SDs. This is Power Pro Super Slick V2 and Onyx. Uh, I love this stuff. In terms of an all-around great braid, if you want a smooth finish, if you want a coarse braid to cut through vegetation, this isn't the line for you. Uh, Berkeley X5 is 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 like Power Pro Evolved. Um, this stuff is spectacular, and I have found that out of the different colors I've used, the Moonshine, the Blue, and the Onyx, I for some reason feel and have experienced longer wear and durability on the Onyx. I don't understand why. I don't, it's weird. I, I put, I think it's the Super Slick V2 on 20 reels that I've been fishing in rotation. So it's not like I'm fishing one or two, you know, from eight pound test all the way to 65. This stuff wears very well. And uh, I'm going to put this stuff on this Steez, which is spooled with uh, Gosen 16 which is the smoothest braided fishing line on the planet. It's also the most expensive braided fishing line. It's about $100 for 150 yards. This has been fished for a long time. It's 20 pound and green. One of the nicest braided fishing lines I've ever used in my entire life. If you want, again, a slick and smooth braided fishing line. You're not gonna be cutting through vegetation or, or bushwhacking or chainsawing through, you know, hydrilla and all that kind of good jazz. With the smooth lines, they'll just accumulate. But the, the coarse textured stuff, buzz right through. And here we, here's just an example of just the past two years. There's about, I'd say 2,000 yards of braided fishing line just mounted on this here that have swapped out, whether it's expensive stuff like Fins 40G and Maxima or Suffix, you name it. And there's 25 different brands of braided line 
in that. I should I should epoxy it in a vacuum and then cut it in a cross section just to see what it looks like, like rings of a tree. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Hope this uh, helped you guys. I'm not trying to bash this company. The, the dude's a dude just like me. Dude's got to make a buck. But I, I'm just the USA company. It, 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 it just it, it's like trying to take advantage of people just buying stuff at a glance. Oh, it's made in the United States. That's first glance. You see an American flag on, on a product. You instantly get the warm and fuzzies that it has the potential to at least be in the United States. But when you go on their website, there is nothing indicated other than they're a U.S. based company of where the product is made. And it's clearly made in China. And I think that's where I'm going to cut it here. So until next time, guys, tight lines. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for showing up. And I think and I appreciate every each and every one of you for your time spent here. Tight lines, and I'll see you soon.